So as I was saying, basic approaches... We don't have time for that now. First, we have to do an intro. We're the Bittersweet Gamers. Stab. I'm We Squared. And I just stabbed the Opinionator, so... <laughs> Honestly, that's about the end of any silliness that I've got in me. I just figured we'd get it out of the way. Uh, I mean, it was pretty obvious that I was starting to get really worked up last time. What? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm completely clueless. I'm really upset about that. It's like, how much of this could have been avoided? <laughs> ah! No! no! Oh, God, no! <laughs> I can't. Anyway, we, we, we literally stopped in the middle of a thought because we weren't expecting that this was going to go into a long explanation. We thought the explanations would begin after we began investigating things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just to recap the thought we were in the middle of, uh, Kyoko was talking about the locked door mysteries, mm -hmm. or locked room mysteries, and uh, she said there's four basic types. The first one is the locked room is created after the crime is committed. Where they use some kind of trick or mechanism to lock the door after the I case. suspect that was the case here because we are assuming that Sakura was poisoned, yeah. bopped on the head just as a distraction. Yeah, but in this case, they would have locked the door with the chair and then gone through the supposed secret entrance with the locker. I just hadn't got there yet. Oh. I was on my way to say that. Well, you yes. interrupted Kyoko, so I thought I'd interrupt you. Continue. Well, those were the very next two things that I was going to say, so, so there. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approaches include using a string or a simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for that, all we'd have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? No, but anyway. The second type is when the locked room is all... Ahem! The second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. There's no way. Y yeah! Why would Sakura be sitting in the rec room? If Sakura were to just be sitting somewhere alone... <gasps> I think would, anyone would be hard-pressed to haul her. Yeah. Hmm. In other words, Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. No, I don't think it's that. You push a switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap in the door. Something like that. However, but in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school, and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, and I think we can probably cross that one off the list. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. In, in a sense, it's kind of like all of these things, isn't it? A little it? bit, if, yeah. If our theory is correct that yeah. Yasuhiro used the... Because he's just acting really weird. Uh-huh. That if he just used the uh, the knowledge, the first-hand knowledge he had gained of the lockers that the game has conveniently not addressed, even when we kept being <laughs> extremely <laughs> suspicious about them. Uh-huh. And that this was the first time that such a major aspect of the case was literally ignored mm -hmm. in a mm -hmm. trial, that he just used his first-hand knowledge to, to go through the locker tunnel. And uh, we're missing something, actually. What are we missing? Why would he have needed to do that? Do what? How'd she die? Poison, right? Yeah. It has to be poison. But how would he have locked the door and gotten out otherwise? What'd he do? Hop inside here and... Hey, ogre, drink this protein. Well, we, we don't really know. We haven't really investigated the crime scene yet. Well, it's like, would he even needed to have been here at all? If someone was going to bump her on the head to make it look like Yeah, that's after how she, died, she already died, then he shows up. Okay, but then he still needs to leave the locked room. Okay, we're we're sort of not quite on the same page, but that's fine because we're not on the same page. So uh, <laughs> there's we need more anyway. Obviously, we will discuss that further soon. What do you mean by that? They stay hidden, and when the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretended they show up along with everyone else, and that's that. That sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. Ah, uh, no. Because Asahino went to get everyone. Let's just verify that real fast. That is simple enough to check. Okay, that does seem unlikely. All she says is, I got everyone. Though I would also note that in the uh, CG art scene that we saw, Asahino wasn't in the room. She was still at the door. When we found Sakura's body through the 
uh-huh. through the, the locked door, the body announcement didn't play. When two of us, Makoto and Kyoko, entered the room, that's when the body announcement played because... It may have been because we confirmed that she was dead. That is entirely possible. And it may not have to do with, like, being in the room. But it is entirely possible of the other as well. All right, let's keep that in mind. The announcement did play after we confirmed that she was dead. Yeah. Yes. It's just usually you can tell when they're dead from first glance. Right. That's something to keep in mind. It's true. And the fourth and final type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a locked room. By that I mean there is actually an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. So what excuse are you going to give me to not let me go through the tunnel in the locked room this time? (laughs) You see this a lot in novels and things, especially visual novels, but in reality it's generally not possible. Fortunately, this game does not take place within the confines of reality, I say. Or so I believe. And you think we can cross that one off too, huh? Indeed. I believe so, yes. Really? Well. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there's four possibilities or different sort of like syncretic Uh versions. Okay, then Kyoko. Which of those four choices seems the most likely in this case, based on all the information that you have managed to acquire so far, which is very little? It's true. That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during the trial. But right now, I can't really say. Hmm, I see. The way the killer set up the locked room. Obviously, until I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. There's an Othello board in front of her. Or maybe that's not Othello. Uh, no, that's Othello. Okay. What about it? Oh, oh, that, 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 yeah. Well, no, I mean, there's an Othello board on the table in front of her. Right, but you can't do anything. Oh, oh, I but see But it's important mean. to note. Maybe. Maybe it's important to note. I don't know. No, that, I suppose that's possible. Who else had talked about Othello before? Anyway. Asahina? There's no way that Asahina no. cracked that much. No. I couldn't believe that. Sakura drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that that's what killed her, but according to the Monokuma file, she'd also vomited blood. Man, I can see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Hmm. Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? Not a chance. Byakuya. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting? Naturally. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Okay, that's... We'll just save it for last, Damon. You know it's not going to let us. There's shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura was sitting on. A vase or bottle of some sort. The glass is all red, and these are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? Plus... Maybe a bottle of poison. So this must have originally been a bottle. Um, It's got like a rubber stopper like many chemical bottles do. mm, mm, There's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure, and it fits in the palm of my hand. Where did we see those? It's a Monokuma figure. Right, that's the stopper. That's the top of the bottle. Because behind it's her, right there. Yeah. I've been trying to say, and every time I started to say something witty about this, you just kept going. Okay, <laughs> I've been trying to. T- it's like it was not a chemical bottle. There's a. It's like when you look at this, you can <sighs> see that there's something missing. <sighs> Two bottles missing, in fact. Oh, you're right. Well, I don't remember how many there were here before because we well, didn't one count. Each but... Just piece. We're missing the knight and the queen. Or the king. There's four red bottles lined up on the shelf. 
and inside each bottle there's some kind of Motokuma figure. What I'm wondering is, how'd they get the fi those figures inside the bottle? Now is not the time for that, Makoto! So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. That's what I was thinking. I mean, you have to assemble those in the bottle, but this, these figures don't look like they have a lot of parts. Eh? You know, where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? You've never seen that? Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words. So this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Joy, a Monokuma bottle. We could all use a Monokuma bottle in our life. I feel... <laughs> what <laughs> on earth would anybody possibly want with a Monokuma bottle? <laughs> I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things little by little. The Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass, which probably started out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? The shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. But where's the missing bottle? And for that matter... Okay, good. That's broken, so that means that if we investigate the locker, that it's not just going to advance before we've looked at all this other stuff. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Let me go ahead and talk to everyone. What the heck? We already know who did it. <laughs> Byakuya, Toko, or Yasuhiro, it had to be one of them. They couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Well, we kind of agree, sort of. Well, I, I mean, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more, but, I mean... Yes. Then let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. Huh? Is this even true? Um, what? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually, she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me she said she'd left a note for each of them. She asked him to meet her in the rec room by noon. Well, then that means that it's if, if she is telling the truth, then at least two people will have a note. Yeah, it'll be able to... It's very easy to verify. Because you'd be foolish to throw that away. You'd be like, no, no, I did in fact get a note to meet her. Yes. Yes. I have proof. By noon, the Monokuma file said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry. That She just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force even, this never would have happened. Hina. It's impossible not to have regrets, I know. But the fact that she had asked those three to meet with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying, and that none of those three people volunteered this information a little bit ago. Yeah! It might be good to confirm what I just heard <laughs> with the three of them directly. I agree. However... But for Sakura to have been killed... <sighs> yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight, and that's an understatement. It's true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? The one weakness she has, she likes protein. Yeah, but surely if, like, Byakuya or Toko offered her it, she'd be like, no. Well, what were we what were we goofing out about when uh, when Asahina had gotten cut by Genocide Jill's poison, scissors? Yes. And we were worried about poison from that. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, well, what about the pepper? Maybe the pepper got into the wound, uh -huh. see, and that's how it's going to be a poison or something like right, that, right? right? And so we were thinking, in that case, then whoever poisoned the pepper wasn't, it, like, the way they were making it hard to trace was... Well, just by being indiscriminate, not targeting someone specifically. Right, just poisoning it and seeing what hit. So, if you poison the protein, it could have been either Asahina or Sakura. Okay! Because one of them was going to go for it. Okay, I got you. Well, if, 
if the protein drinks come up, like, Aoi drops some off or something, then, like, she accidentally gave Sakura the poison, or, not, not accidentally, she unknowingly gave Sakura the poison one or something, you know? Like, she went to get protein drinks for them. I don't see any trace of a protein drink anywhere, but... What was it called? Protein X? No. I like proteinium myself. Proteinium is pretty good, yeah. I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Reading this line feels silly after the discussion we just had. <laughs> Certainly, they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. Alright, what about you, ass white? What? What do you want? You're bothering me. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. That's really important. Make it quick. There's some information you probably need to volunteer, huh? Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? So you found out. Interesting. So it's true. I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? That's believable coming from Byakuya. Yeah. You are more likely to project your own worldview onto other people. Right, right. And attribute the motives that sort of make sense to you. I'm sorry, more like project really is the right word to attribute like to project those motives to other people yeah. so it would make perfect sense that Byakuya would not have would right. not have gone so you didn't go see her of course not I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away I haven't seen Sakura today at all Byakuya says he didn't go see her but is that the truth well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. And he did get rid of the note, but like you said, That though, makes sense. Well, I don't know. It seems like keeping it is less suspicious. Well, if he didn't actually go, uh-huh. It's like keeping it is less suspicious than trying to hide it. That's true, but, he didn't but also deny doing it. it in dismay and disdain is also a Byakuya thing. That's true, and Byakuya did totally admit yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That same shelf full of magazines. There's all different kinds of magazines here and nothing that really matters. And we still have Except that. the blood stain in front of it. We still have that to look at. And this locker. With handprints on the inside of the door. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Boy, it sure is weird that this locker we were talking about over and over in the last chapter is open. And they're on the inside. It's a handprint? And there's one in the back, too. What's a handprint doing here? It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and it left a handprint in all the dust. It's true. And it looks quite fresh, too. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid it here until the locked room was open, don't you think? Right in view of everyone. That is completely believable, plausible, that this is the sort of thing that, that he would think about, but we just wouldn't <laughs> let those mysterious lockers that had no reason to be there go, <laughs> did we? We just would not <laughs> let it go, and then it turned out that we have to be right about that. Yeah, there's a handprint on the inside as if they pushed the inside open. And it, yeah, of course. And it has to implicate Yasuhiro, who is the only yeah. person who has first-hand <laughs> knowledge of it. And he's also acting really weird, but. And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Why? It's such a good idea. <laughs> Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Yeah, and the locker open. was open. And the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. So then... What does this handprint mean? It means... VINDICATION! <laughs> I don't know! Why not put your hand near where it was? Left hand? Left hand on the door of the locker on the inside. And right, ha right hand on the back of the locker. As in, in order to open it, you push your left hand from the inside because it's on the left, and then when you're going yeah. in to use the passage, you put your right hand... You see, it, yeah, yeah. it just backs up what we're saying. 
<laughs> so this looks like some kind of wrapper. Oh, that's. Do you recognize Is that a donut it? Wrapper. Recognize it, Hina? No. Well, yeah. I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. Where did you get the candy from? So you gave that candy to Sakura. I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. Hmm. You really like them that much, huh? Huh. Because, I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now they've lost all their flavor. Kina. That clearly has to be... Where the poison, how the poison was administered. Well, it doesn't have to be right here, does that's, it? Mm, I suppose you're right, but that seems to be what this indicates. Yeah, at the very least, okay. we're supposed to think about all right, it. All right, all right. But no, you might be right. I just... Well, I mean, it's not like we have zero suspicion. Yeah. We'd even pointed it out before. Ah! Protein Zyme X, that's it. Okay. Well... This is also present, and this is a uh, far more... <clears throat> There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance to the room. So... It looks like a protein drink, and it's empty. What crazy packaging, huh? You're right? Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein, and, and Hina and Sakura went crazy when they found this protein Zymex. Yeah. She mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments, just kind of like drinking a potion in an RPG. Except poison! I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. Yeah, you're right. It didn't cure the poison status ailment. I know. But still... This protein can, it's got a label on it that says Chem A2. It couldn't be that simple. Surely. Just swapping the labels around, it can't be that simple. She'd be able to tell right away from like the... Mm. Not necessarily. Okay, but if she took a swig and then realized something was wrong, sure, she may have already been poisoned at that point, but it wouldn't be empty. I'm also There's saying... There's not a sink here. If she had noticed it. I am thinking also there's no way that the fact that she's that she was smiling isn't going to come up. Well, I guess not. It just it looked once like she was. No, no, no. She was definitely smiling when it showed like the light on her and her kind of sepia tone. Hmm. She was definitely smiling. It may not be a plot point that's relevant, but I'm sure it'll be brought up later. Like she realized she was dying and she realized that that would put a lot of the suspicion to rest right. and so she was being happy for her right. friends, like as, Hina. Like, yeah. not only, like, Byakuya said it in the last episode, and we said it in the episode before that, that the sad fact is that if she were to just commit suicide, that would solve a lot of problems. What if she did, and someone took advantage of that to make it look like a murder? But what for? So they could get out. So they could get credit for it? Yeah, so they could be the blackened. But if they didn't actually kill her, then then why would... Maybe they didn't know she was poisoned. They saw her slumped over, then clonked her in the back of the head, and escaped out the, and like locked up the room, and then escaped through the locker. Well, that would make sense for Yasuhiro, I suppose. Uh-huh. To, to not want to push his luck or think about anything. Plus, there's that blood stain over there. Mm -hmm. but, well... We haven't checked the blood stain yet. No, I know that. I know, I know. Okay, okay, I was just processing all of this. Anyway, Sakura mentioned how the chem lab had all kinds of health stuff, so she must have gotten this from the chem just lab. But that's strange. Well, what is? Hey. You see what's scattered around the can? Yeah, I was wondering about that glass, but I mean, there's from no From the reason. window we smashed in? What? From the window we smashed in to get in here. <laughs> Shards of blue, light blue glass. They must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. But they aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. That is, okay. 
So why does that matter is a stupid so... thing to say. I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. Oh? Could it have been something that was discarded by somebody... Who came into the room. Yeah. But why would they do that on, like, intentionally? Accidentally maybe it wasn't okay. intentionally. Maybe, maybe Asahina had it, and she just dropped it in shock. I'm not sure how that would really factor into anything, especially because it's empty. Hold on. It's time to use the magic of editing! We took a look at a couple of things just to verify some information. As you can see... At the moment, there's a few heads in the way. We just can't see the floor. Then later... Once Byakuya shows up, we can get a better view of the floor. You can see at the very edge of the floor here, the glass, but the glass doesn't help us at all because we knew the glass was broken already. All we were really trying to check is, was that bottle there and could we see it? Was it shown in the previous pictures? And right. the answer is, it was not. Yeah. So we have no way of knowing if somebody dropped the bottle in after they came in. Right, right. That was all we were checking. But now we know that we don't have to worry about it like that. I mean, maybe they did, but we just couldn't find out yet. Right, right. Uh, after all, that would verify. Yeah. It would verify, like, that, that, was, that the, one of them was the murderer mm -hmm. in that case. So that's why we needed to know. Anyway, an important clue. For some reason, I'm not sure I see how, even though those commentators just really spent a long time. And every time someone says that to me, it is turning out to be an important clue. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. Well, it must have come from Sakura, right? That doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? It's not like her head is bloody. Right? Is there any reason to be sure that that is Sakura's? That's a fair point. I mean, that uh, could have been the blood she vomited up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then she just made her way to the nearest chair. Yeah, then sat down, having figured out what happened. Yeah. Well, what else is there to explore? Oh, I guess the chair. We should probably look at the chair that was blocking the door. Oh, yeah. So the chair was shoved up against the doorknob, so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words... There's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. That's it's correct. It's important to know this so we can take the first step in proving the existence of the secret passage. This game is going to have a secret passage somewhere. <laughs> We're going to be right about it eventually. <laughs> anything else? I mean, clock. Ah! It's around 1 o'clock right now. According to the Monokuma files, Sakura died around 12 noon. So roughly an hour ago. Was that when Kyoko and I were moving Alter Ego? The important part about that is we were... No, this is the third floor. This is... Yeah, yeah, the rec room's on the third floor. Okay. What... What haven't we investigated yet? No, no, it, it just me. I'm just verifying that we have got everything. Now we can leave. Oh! That... Or we don't! Yeah, it should automatically move. The door! The window! The window! Ah, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, this door is the only way in or out of the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock, and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change in the door is the smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. And there is no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. Thinking about it, for somebody like Byakuya, or for the sake of argument, Kyoko, uh -huh. who yet again has an alibi because Makoto is there at the same time. Right. Um, Byakuya did read a lot of detective novels. Byakuya would have been smart enough not to try and bar the door. I suppose you're right, yeah. Would that have caused Sakura, even a dying Sakura, any problem? No, 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 no. Remember, this is to make it seem like this is a locked door. The locking of the door happened after Sakura was dead. 
Wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it be better if the door did not appear to be locked? No, because this way they can maybe... If she's been... No, but she got bonked on the head, so that kind of rules out suicide, doesn't it? it? See, now we're having to figure out how somebody could have gotten in or out of here. But if if the door wasn't locked, then it could have been anybody. It he, just makes it le- make yeah. sense so that it does not have to point. He probably did it because of the detective novels, and he wanted to be all fancy and show if it was Byakuya. I don't think it was Byakuya at all. It was Yasuhiro. Me either. Of course it's Yasuhiro. Yeah, so I guess why are we even following this train of thought? We're, we're not talking about the same thing. Once again. I'm saying that it was a mistake for Yasuhiro, assuming it was him, to bar the door. Okay, I see what you're saying. If he had left it open, then it could have been anyone. It, it would have been harder to prove certain things. Yeah. So the killer... It's like, the way that I see it, it doesn't change any of the material facts of the case. It just makes it so that it forces you to have to look for some way that somebody could have gotten in or out of here, which limits the amount of knowledge gotcha. of people who had that knowledge to, like... Just one person. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So the killer must have created the locked door from the inside, not from the outside. If if that hadn't happened, we wouldn't be able to be eliminating anything. Yeah. Got it. Now that should be, yeah. Yeah. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, got a really good idea of everything that happened, for the most part. Then you should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. Well, I was going to go regardless, and... No, no, it's my decision. Okay, sure, if if that makes you feel better. Also, I would love to bring back all my findings and discuss them with you. (laughs) (sighs) So either Byakuya or Kyoko at differing parts of the game is going to be my handler, eh? She's decided. (laughs) She's gotten a lot more pushy since... Since we had our issue. Yeah, but she's also kind of forgiven you, so you just have to accept it. But she's right. I do have to go and talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. I'd like that. We out. Those other two probably went back to their rooms because everybody just relies on, like, Kyomakuya to handle all of the work? <laughs> Come on! Needless to say, the game just warped us right here so we can go and see Toko and Yasuhiro in their rooms. So naturally, we're going to try and not do that. But you know what I really want? What? I really want to go over to the pool and look in the locker. Me too! I want to go to the pool and look in the locker! Choo-choo! All aboard the railroad! <laughs> no, that's fine. The, the order we do it in doesn't matter. I press the doorbell! As I say every time I press the doorbell. And after a few seconds... Wow! Reusing assets! Who's there? Uh, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. What do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. So she, one day she's just going to freaking wilt. Yeah, pretty like much. the negativity will just consume her. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. Poor kid. She's lost all of her control and cracked, but I mean, she's such a warped person on the inside. Oh, I feel bad for her, but trying to say that she isn't warped... Right? She is a very broken human being. Mm Mm-hmm. She didn't look like she was in a good mood, but I suppose many things can be relative. I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? (laughs) <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something? I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. <gasps> I don't know what you're t- t- talking about. Why are you lying? Byakuya already told me she'd asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master 2? Ah! I just scissored it too, didn't I? I? She's probably scared that Genocide Jill did something, so she's going to try and ignore it. 
Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. I think she's trying... I'm telling you, it makes you look less suspicious if you don't if you don't try and hide things. Uh huh. I mean, c- come and on. Then she outs herself. Yeah. I guess and now it's just totally obvious, huh? We, Biakia basically confirmed the account we already had, and you're you're really just not very good at this. Like like Billy said, you you outed yourself even. <laughs> anyway, pretty much, yeah. So tell me about it. I admit I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm. Doko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. I pressed the doorbell. And after a few seconds... What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something really important. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. Oh, how'd you know about that? Oh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Yes, yes they have. I now possess the exact same power to uh, commune with the spirits via numerology that you do. So just admit it. But I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. How do you know that? How does he know that? I mean, this has been what this has been the pattern in every case so far. Somebody says something they shouldn't know. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byakuya and Toko to come to, which means I did in fact go and see her. Oh crap! Hmm. When did Sakura tell you that? Oh well, when uh, um, she asked me to meet with her, of course. Okay. But didn't she write you a note? Yeah, uh, a note. She, uh, How about that? she gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others. Like, in passing, I'm believable, honestly. I gotta be <laughs> honest, this is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura. Instead of when she dropped the note off. N- no way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? <laughs> yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually. Last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. Don't look at me. I haven't seen her since then. You, what? No, he went to the nurse's office with us. Yeah, but that's full of crap. Then how would he have gotten the information that he just already admitted that he knew? No, 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 it was later, man. You just said that- <laughs> She came in passing with a note like a shuriken. Is got that- got caught in my hair. Is and that- then aliens what? abducted my sandwich, man. Is that like that one time that Celeste ha- had the story about like falling down, passing out, waking up, pleading, pleading for her life, life yeah. passing <laughs> out again, waking up, taking a picture, and then passing out? <laughs> Whatever, dude. Where's the note? Oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Yasuhiro was feeling around in his pockets. Ah, hey, oh, sorry. Looks like I don't have it anymore. <laughs> Why is everyone acting so suspicious about this? Oh, Biakia was up front. I, I, I mean, he was, and that's the best way to do it. I mean, that's sort of the point that yeah, I'm making. Yeah. With a big, goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. <laughs> something had fallen out of his pocket. Huh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Quick as the wind, Yasuhiro snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Yasuhiro, you got some splaining to do. <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Here's where Hina's testimony about never letting anyone access to the candy's gonna get me. Trash. <laughs> Anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me, I have to commune with the spirits. <laughs> Before waiting for a reply, Hito fell asleep, then slithered quickly back <laughs> into his room where he began communing with the spirits. He said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Now, whether it does... Whether that's the vehicle the poison was delivered with or not, I couldn't say. But that does prove that he went to meet her. Or has something to do with it. Asahina said she n- took the entire box and never let anyone have access to it. Right. So the fact that he has the same kind of wrapper is suspicious. 
No, of course. I'm just trying to figure out if that would change any... Or I was trying to figure out if that if him possessing the candy wrapper means that it was more likely that the candy or the protein drink contained the poison. Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm going to assume at this point that either is possible. It The candy is probably just going to prove that he did meet with Sakura. Maybe. Either that or he broke into Asahina's room. We're not sure. <laughs> no, it's, it's like I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh -huh. I'm not disputing what you right, said. I'm right. trying to come up with the specifics. Ah, ah. Well, it's possible that the it was. I'm pretty sure it was the candy. I think Yasuhiro would have dropped the drink there to make them think the drink was poisoned. If he's one of the last people to arrive. You know that's true. When we get the drink dropped on, to uh huh, the, dropped onto the glass, which we still can't say when it got there and when it didn't. Well, we, we can say for certain that it was after the window was broken in. That is true. It would have had to have been. Uh huh. So, what Yasuhiro must have done? But after, how hold did... on, hold on. Okay, go ahead. After he poisoned the candy, he must have left, went to the chem room, and grabbed an empty bottle of the protein drink. Otherwise, if she had had it there, he wouldn't have had to drop it after the fact. Okay, that's very so true. This, it's you're, a plant. You're, you're correct about that. That is the case. But what advantage does dropping the protein drink have? Everybody knew. Hmm. Like, everybody knew that she liked protein, which is why he dropped the thing, But not right? everyone knew that she had the candy. Asahina only gave her that one piece of candy, after all. According to what she said. Since it was publicly known that she liked the protein drink, it would it, they wouldn't look too far into it. Uh, hopefully, well, it would sort of make people try and make somebody try and come up with a way to who pro, who poisoned the, uh -huh. the protein drink, while just as opposed to it being the candy. Yep. But if that's the case, then that would mean that Yasuhiro would have had to have gotten the candy. Uh huh. Okay. Like he had to have gotten the candy from Sakura. When he went to meet her, maybe because Asahina gave her, gave Sakura some of the candy. Uh, wasn't he the one that carried Asahina to the infirmary? So, but can we just assume that 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 Asahina had some of this candy in her pocket? She likes it so much. She said she really liked it. That's true. I, I'm just saying it's possible. I suppose you're right. I mean, we. We will not know until further information comes out, but at I'm, least it's feasible. It's just, he had to have gotten a hold of the candy so he could poison it. Right. But if he was there with Sakura, you think she wouldn't notice him going, open candy, apply poison, Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that yeah. could not have happened. Right, so he must have gotten it from Asahina, the only other person who could have had it, because if that's what happened. Because, well, because... I just still haven't squared everything away with the protein mm -hmm. drink yet. Hmm. I think it's a red herring. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not saying that I don't think that. I'm just trying to put everything together in, in a way that that connects all the information. But we'll just what? wait till we get some oh. more. Okay. So I've heard from Toko and Hiro. What next? How Kim about lab. I yeah. go and investigate the Kim Lab and the locker in the pool? <laughs> Right, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor of the rec room. Obviously, it came from the chem lab. So, where should I start? To the pool! To the pool! Locker! We found Robo Justice stuffed in this locker last time, but now there's nothing useful in here. Boo! We found Robo Justice <laughs> stuffed in this locker last time. But now we can't lock it! <laughs> you knew it was going to happen. I did. I feel like 20% of what we do in this Let's Play is try to investigate the lockers. <laughs> well, it seems like it's finally going to pay off. Hey. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hiro had told me. So along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Now, yeah. what was that about pocket trash? Someone's lying. Really? Could that really be happening? Well, I've made some progress of my own. Excellent. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. Oh, that's something else that we haven't even thought about at all, is the missing bottle. Yeah. 
I'm not sure why they would j jank one. Yeah. These three things have revealed new clues. You'd do well to look over them one more time. Really? Well, let's take care of that after going to the Kim Lab. <laughs> what? Makoto, did you have your eye on the Chem Lab too? Yeah. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Uh, can I trip you? Can I hit you on the back of the head? No. Uh, how about I just do it anyway? Okay, okay, fine. I think what you meant to say was, yes, sir, I understand. I think what you meant to say was, pardon me while I light a firecracker and stick it up my nose. <laughs> Damon, that's not going to cure your cold. I don't, I don't, Byakuya doesn't have a cold. <laughs> Let's find out what it does to Byakuya. Well, anyway, did you find anything out? <laughs> no. Somehow I can sense him saying, leave me here alone without him even having to say it. So, this isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. Spilled chemical on the bottom. Uh-huh. Uh I should probably take a closer look at it. Looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now is the powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf. I have to be careful not to step in it. You know, as big as Yasuhiro no doubt is, it should be pretty easy to match those up to his shoes. So on this shelf is a bunch of chemicals that I have no idea. I don't see A2. That looks like B shelf, so A2 should be in the left. <laughs> they're regions. Put simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. Reagent, actually. I said regions because it's more royal. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. Because Makoto is in high school and is not a chemist. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? Are you surprised? What, you think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. Okay, well let's get back to the case instead of you just berating me. I didn't even say that, though. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now, I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section B, just like the label B says. Huh. Well, anyway, don't have to worry about shelf number B. On this shelf is shelf categorized <laughs> C. One look and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So this is sectionized Zoid C, Flargan. Okay, so section A is all the dietary supplements and different medicines. So One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number, especially the one that's labeled C9 and has a skull and crossbones Of course it's on. nine! So, I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section A. Hey! <laughs> what do you mean, of course it's nine? Just nine, nine, nine. Yeah, that's maybe a stretch. Ice nine, snow nine, 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 nine. There, there's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C nine. Huh? Could someone have put it here on accident? <laughs> Try and find out more about this shelving unit. It's split into three sections because they assumed that I would look at the one on the left first. <laughs> section A has dietary supplements, Section B has reagents, and Section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from Section A, but what concerns me is that, my god, this is as long-winded as me! <laughs> like, normally I'm the only person that bloviates about stuff this much. Right. There was a bottle with a label from Section C. What was a bottle from poison from Section C doing in Section A? There's definitely something going on there. I'm looking at it one more time before I get back to it. Nope, okay. So. <laughs> I think we're done here. C4. Boom! 
you know, when we were looking at the nine, I was going to say something about using four because four, you know, she, she yeah. yeah, for death. But then I was like, oh, somebody will just say something about explosives. <laughs> but then sure enough, here is C4. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? Looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out. And at that point, this room wasn't like this. Hmm. Well, it does seem as though it happened after the trip mm -hmm. to uh, to the infirmary with, with Asahina. And Yasuhiro did run away screaming. Maybe he just got afraid. Then this powder must have been spilled. That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. Yeah. If that really is when it happened, it must be related to the case somehow, which is something that's pretty obvious, yeah, but... I mean, I guess you gotta make sure. Right. <laughs> There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I'd better not leave a footprint. Oh, look, a footprint! About nine of them. Footprints. And they're only in front of the left shelf, the one that's been tampered with. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Of course. How kind of you to offer. With an insufferable smirk. He handed me a piece of paper and a pen. Well, let's go. Chop, chop. Okay. Let me chop, chop right in your forehead. Or maybe the back of your neck. See if that whole, like, 1960s or... <laughs> see if that, like, karate chop to knock people out works. It doesn't. So I got to work, and before long, I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. So, how's this? Not bad. For you, I mean. I suppose this is pretty pretty good, because it means the location of the exit and the desk might have something to do with stuff. For me, huh? So, when you look at it like this, interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. Right. That definitely means that whoever got into Section C, that happened before that bottle was dropped, which is what Biakia is getting at. I see. And that the person did immediately turn around and leave the room. These footprints must be... Certainly Makoto, are they yours? Oh, you got me! I'm the killer! It was me all along! What? Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. I'm like four foot one. <laughs> uh, no, but he isn't even five feet. He's right? Like, he's, he's like 4'11 or something Jesus. like that. Jesus. That could be I mean, a it reason. Proves, it proves you're innocent. Yeah, that's a great reason to do it. So I quietly did what Byakuya said. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Excuse me? <laughs> big, huh? Now... Now, women tend to have smaller feet than men uh -huh. uh, when they're even even at like the same size. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's it's feasible that one of the girls, and, and by one of the girls, there's only two people that it could be. Well, it can't be Aoi. She's much taller than you. Surely her feet would be bigger. That's what I'm just getting I at. See. She's only four feet or, or four inches. No, they're the same height. Really. Okay, I, I could have sworn... My, okay, so it was Chihiro that was not quite five feet. Yeah. Okay. All right, what about Toko? Huh! Okay, well, it shouldn't be Asahina then. Yeah, because... No? But if they're the same size, then her feet should naturally be smaller than Makoto. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. She's taller?! Yeah, um, she's, she's a bit lighter, but... She is taller than Makoto. I noticed that and like a Asahina. long time ago. That's kind of messed up. Yeah, Makoto is really small. What meant that she's taller than Asahina? It's only an inch. That basically doesn't even matter. So it could only have been one of those two. Yeah. So this is something that really needs, more to, complicated. Be, okay. that needs to be put together. 
Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. I mean, what we do need to do is go through everybody's feet. Yeah, just have everyone take a step in the powder to, me to compare it. Unfortunately... But with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. <laughs> to be quite honest, I would say the same unfortunately about you. These prints are a really valuable clue. I should probably take a good hard look at that powder. It wouldn't let me a second ago. Right? Remains the broken bottle, which I also look at. Bottles Chem C4. And someone left footprints in the powder. Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. Which means the bottle fell down before. Right. Now, the, the shelves are all closed, so that bottle could have only fallen if the shelf was open. But in any case, that happened before this. But, this but who would just walk over that? Somebody in a hurry. Yes. Now, what they did do was put the bottle of the C9 bottle to replace replace the A2 protein powder. Yeah, but why? Because, I'm also, that, I also because that, looks, take a, that looks really suspicious, yeah. doesn't it? Why would you do that? I also want to say, if this is powder, it should not spill like that! It's not a liquid! That, yeah, you're <laughs> absolutely right. <laughs> it looks like someone poured it out like and when you dropped said, the bottle. Like when you said chemical spill, I, I agreed with you and was surprised when it was powder. Huh. Well, anyway. No, not necessarily. If you look at it, it... It looks like a liquid, the way it's distrib distributed. Oh, this might be important. Or, I mean, it might not, but... Like, it looks like somebody took the thing. Like, they're, they would be holding it around uh -huh. A, and then, like, rapidly move to C, right? Yeah, exactly. There's there's some force behind that. It wouldn't just spill out like that. If you, if you dropped a bottle of powder, most of it would still be in the bottle. Yeah, so... Unless we're talking some kind of crazy, like, graphite powder, because that's almost liquid. So it would have to... Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I want to like look Like the powder that you put into your keys to... In your locks to lubricate it. Oh! It's graphite powder, but it's so fine. So I guess that kind of defeats my point. No, no, no. I just think it's fascinating. I mean, but if it's possible... But if that's fine enough, then it might just be a super fine powder. But I'm still suspect. No, no. I... I, I still think you're right about that. That, I mean... That it was, like, thrown over here or something. But if the only way I could see that happening is if, is if this was some sort of frame-up attempt. Like, someone knew that Asahina, for instance, might run up there and grab something real quick, and so they did it ahead of time? But that seems kind of crazy, don't you think? Like, yes, to implicate I can't, her? I can't figure out why you would... Well... Like, they would have no, had you... to have fabricated a situation in which they knew she would rush up here without thinking and grab something. Grab something like Protein Zyme X? Maybe. To share? Maybe, but why would she have moved so quickly and been in such a rush to grab Protein Zyme X and not bother to clean it up or tell anyone about it? And see, this is when we get into, like, the source of the poison. It's like, yeah. it's just fishy. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. And like you said, uh, it, it'd be one thing if somebody ran here after the murder yeah. to try and cover something up. You can see that they might be, like, too crazy in a hurry. Uh -huh. But it can't, just like you said, it can't implicate Asahina. Because she, why would, unless she was the murderer, which yeah. I mean, is the point. But that just seems really weird. Let's, let's continue. Yeah. Ah. Anyway, that's all I can tell for now. I mean, I can't say I don't have any suspicion of Asahina. Is there a locker in this room? Can we find the locker somewhere? Makoto, I admit you have a good eye for spotting useful clues, but you also need to learn how to make use of those clues. Oh, shut up! That's what we spend, like, all of our time talking about in these <laughs> investigations. Go set yourself on fire or something. Right, hopefully... The uh, last items are going to give us the information that we need. Yeah. Hey. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. Oh. My. God. What color are the Monokuma bottles? The same color as the poison bottles. 
Yeah. What if that's protein powder spilled on the floor? There we go. But it does say C4 on the bottle. Yeah, a sticker. A, a, a label that you could easily peel off and slap back on. Well, if you're careful enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just dawned on me. Well, now that we've been in there looking. Yeah. So Kyoko said she'd found a new clue involving the Monokuma bottles. Something new, something new. Their color. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're sure to find it. Huh? I mean, the third one's the knight, which is on the ground, yeah. and the fourth so, one, which is the queen, is missing. Yeah. A correlation. Oh, the, the chess piece thing? You gotta start at the beginning, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, Kilko, can't you just tell me what it is? I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. I agree with this completely. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. Yeah, when you come up with the idea yourself, you're more attached to it and you understand it better yeah. than if you're told it by someone. In fact, if you are told something by someone, you still have to kind of work through it yourself in order to really get it. As we have no doubt demonstrated. <laughs> it's not just because you don't trust me, right? Yeah, I know. That, that was really stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. No answer! Oi! I do trust you, to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree? Well, at least he's honest. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment, huh? Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. Are you sure it's okay to mess with a crime scene like that? Doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Byakia is not here, so... so then. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. Ah, that's what we're gonna <laughs> She's gonna try and drop the thing and see how it splashes out, perhaps? Maybe. Well, with, with that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what this is about, but what choice do I have? I better just do it. Maybe see how many pieces, how big the bottles are comparatively. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. And just as I finished up... Sorry to keep you waiting. So then. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So what kind of experiment are we doing? I got a scale from the chem lab. Mm. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? The pieces of glass you collected, and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. To make sure that it's a Monokuma bottle and not... Yeah. Why do you want to do that? Because maybe this bottle is bottle C4? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. They might not be quite exact, but... Close enough. It's balanced, words, which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Right. That makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else could really affect the weight. Now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now, what might we expect to see? Well, the, the one with the figure is going to be heavier because it's got a figure in it, and the pieces of glass do well, not... Or if they picked up the figure that was also with the glass. Ah, now there we go. And did, was the stopper down there, too? Uh, it was It was still connected to the top. Okay, yeah. so if, if they were using the figure as well and the stopper... It should be about the same. Then it should be weight. about the same, perhaps, I mean, perhaps a slight difference just because of... Just because of uh, Maybe not getting all of the pieces. Uh huh. Uh huh. But if it's the other bottle, it should be the same or it's close enough. If it's, oh, if the, it's the chemical bottle, if it's the yeah. chemical bottle, they won't be the same. Mm -hmm. Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. Just like I said, yeah. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here so, and there. Okay, then let's give it a try. And sure enough. That uh -huh. means that it's the chemical bottle that's on the ground. Yup. Hmm. Huh. The broken pieces are heavier. How's that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? The results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together. And I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. <laughs> you get to figure it out in the trial, sucker. 
Excellent. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I can come up with some way that finding this out about the bottles is going to lead to anything else. Well, that would mean that that's a Monokuma bottle, like like I suspected in the chem lab. Right. Maybe uh, maybe a Monokuma bottle wasn't heavy enough. Heavy enough for what? Smash on Sakura. But, what but is, wait! Th what would that even accomplish? You're right. Well, I mean, and it would also kind of mean that the bottle in the A cabinet must be the other Monokuma bottle because this is a chemical bottle. So where's the other? We've got the broken one in the chem lab and the yeah. one in the A, A cabinet. So those both, both must be Monokuma bottles for some reason. Well, we went to take a look. We can't, unfortunately, get quite a zoomed-in look on the other bottles anymore. I was just wondering if there was... It looks like there are bottles, extra bottles, missing from from Section C. Mm, mm. That would that would support the idea that the one in, in A is a Monokuma bottle. Right. I'm not entirely sure what, what that would be useful for, but why do you put the shards back? <laughs> Weird. Okay, well, I guess they do have the same type of stopper. Yeah. Doesn't it kind of look like the, the blood's underneath the stand? Yeah, it sure does. Well, I mean, it could have just moved under it. I mean, it is I, Okay, I suppose it so. It is liquid after all. Well, we'll see what we get here. Kyoko said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Clue. <laughs> Makoto ladies, <laughs> Kakuto, huh? Kakuto, isn't it? Isn't that a K? Oh, or yes, Kakuto, huh? Miss ah, Muscle and it, appears. And yeah, yeah, because of the, uh... Kakuto is, uh, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, this magazine is upside down. Did someone put it back that way on accident? If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. Huh. Well, this is... On Taka. one of the pages... Near the center of the magazine, a word had been written in bold, bloody letters. They're going to try and make it say it's Toko, but it was Taka. Wait, that what? doesn't make any sense! <laughs> and it said Toko. Could this be a dying message? Hmm. I don't believe that it is. Is. Correct. It's probably just written there by Taka. Or Yasuhiro. Kiyotaka died. I'm so sorry. I just don't want to believe it. Okay. That, like, Sakura was poisoned. Yes. I don't yet understand the whacking around with the bottles and everything yet. If if she was poisoned, then she would have been, like, glick and, and uh -huh. vomited everywhere. And that would be... If you look at every magazine there, there's a good chance that Sakura would probably have been looking at the at Cocktail magazine, yeah, the hand-to-hand yeah. -hand combat magazine. Yeah, you're right. It, it's believable. Uh -huh. And so, you know, you make it stand out and you write this stuff in it. Right, right. It, I mean, it could really be a dying message, but wouldn't that be weird for it, for the dying message to always be correct and not be fake? Yeah. That, that's why it seems like it's fake. Correct. Either that or Kiyotaka rose from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this? It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write on Someone it. Someone did. And this is where we check her body. Yeah. But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come um, looking. Hey, is that... That says Toko, <laughs> right? Yeah, it looks like it. Then... He's the killer, right? Don't jump to conclusions! It, that doesn't even make sense. We're, we're assuming that it is, uh, it's a plant from Yasuhiro uh -huh. meant to implicate somebody else, especially when we consider the footprints. Especially when he witnessed a fight between Toko and Asahina. So it, Asahina would have a reason to really yeah. dislike Toko. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's extremely viable and uh, like plausible uh -huh. to, to implicate her. Is it also possible that the other funny stuff with the bottles isn't related to what actually happened? It's possible. We have run into that in many, in several of the cases. 
where some of the funny stuff is just unrelated, but we still have to get to the bottom of it to prove it's unrelated. If Sakura was clubbed in the back, the only way that a dying message there would matter is if Sakura was clubbed in the head and is like, oh, I am dying, and then, then like, uses her own blood to write a message. Yeah, yeah. If Sakura was clubbed in the head, she would turn and beat the ever-loving <laughs> piss out of whoever it was that clubbed her in the head. Before dying, yeah. In fact, they probably wouldn't have even been able to club her in the head in right, the first right. place. So... Before dying, she wouldn't even <laughs> die from that. I guess you're right. I will forgive you. It's settled. She's the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. And any time that somebody starts talking yeah. like that, it's always wrong. Yeah. I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it, th it makes me that much more suspicious. All right. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Whatever could it be? Just a second. Just staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Well, yeah, I know, but it's hey. creepy. And Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? It's yucky. <sighs> there's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. Which only further pr sort of enforces the whole doctor thing. He was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although there are still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. It's true. That's totally normal. Then how can you... So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What?! Sorry, never mind. I'm not an assassin or anything. More importantly, look here. Her shoes... There is no way Sakura's foot is smaller than Makoto's! You see that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. That powder is clue number one. Hey. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot. So just let me explain. It doesn't matter. It's not what killed her. Nobody ever said it was what killed her. The Monokuma file didn't say it. She just yeah. got whopped. It's not that... It would, seem... it would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Okay, so the first one was... Uh, a... The first one was a Monokuma bottle. The second one was a chemical bottle. Because the second one is heavier. Yeah. And the person who did the bottle whopping knew that they needed something heavier because um, they had already been messing with that bottle to know how heavy it was. Right, right. Two blows. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. What I had been assuming... And, and this doesn't mean that this assumption is correct, but not by any means. But what I've been assuming is that she... She had already died when she got whopped on the head. Yeah. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Hands were spotless. Which means she obviously didn't write the message. Oh, oh, right, right, that, right. That's I entirely thinking, what that's yeah. I was thinking about the powder, of course. Because I, why would we think she wrote the message? We right? already assumed she hadn't. Well, I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. Well, not really true, but... <laughs> and here we go. Looks like it's time for the trial, but we'll have to do that one next time. This time around, guys, it's going to be next week. We're not just going to jump right into it. Yeah. But when we get to it, we're going to run it all the way through. Just like always.